What a lovely day for metal, to rot and wither. It's Corrosion Guns Overview, featuring Sting, Wasp and Viper. Corrosion bullets are augmented with nanomachines that literally rot anything they come in contact with, including steel. First is inflicted immediately on heat. Even when you stop shooting, your target continues receiving damage until the effect wears off. This is handy against enemies that try to hide from you behind cover. Sorry, Hachi. Escaping won't save you this time. You're already dead. Damage over time also stacks infinitely. Here, Bulwark received dozens of corrosion stacks from multiple enemies. It tries to recover the shield, but too late. Corrosion bots eat it from the inside. Unless medic arrives, Bulwark's death is inevitable. All corrosion weapons work best for medium range. They counter maneuverable robots with small amounts of HP and invisibility or dash abilities. Sting is a light gun that shoots needle-shaped bullets and applies a damage over time effect. This weapon is for applying corrosion fast. Sting empties the whole clip almost immediately and reloads quickly. Besides, that effect works even after your robot is destroyed. Here, little Mender seems to be doomed. But he fights till the end and thanks to Dot Effect, Hetchy is destroyed too. The revenge was never so sweet. Wasp is a massive kinetic gun firing large shells. Although it shoots relatively slow, Wasp can deal tons of damage if used correctly. Moreover, Dot Effect works even during enemy's abilities. For example, this specter chose wrong time to attack and tries to escape. But Lance manages to hit it with wasps, and Spectre receives damage even while being invisible. You can run, but you can't hide, Spectre boy! Viper is a heavy energy auto cannon. Its range and spread makes it most effective on close distances. Viper is a king when it comes to dealing sustained damage. As any other auto cannon, it speeds up if you shoot without stop. But it also applies damage over time from corrosion. Also, it passes through energy shields, which is a nice bonus. Damage over time is exactly that. Damage spread over time. And a well-timed repairer can negate it entirely. In this situation, Spectre got hit by Wasp. It runs to the friendly Wayland and survives. Well done, Doctor! Also, you can defend from corrosion with shields. Wiper can't break through physical shield, so this Bulgasari is pretty safe. Just remember to turn with the right side. And Hetchy can be found with Sting and Wasp, as they can't penetrate energy shields. It's also useful to remember that Dot Effect applies over time, so sometimes it's better to go all in than hide behind the covers, especially when you have a lot of firepower. Just like with Carnish over here, which chooses to go into frontal attack instead of retreating. It takes dot damage anyway, but manages to destroy the enemy. So, hey now! Your robots are about to bring corrosion down on metal heads of your enemies. Check the links below for more information on your weapons. See you on the battlefield, pilots!